include the 2018 SSAC, I am entrusted with the final word. Okay. So we've heard today about multiple issues affecting patient access to care, health care, and our role as physicians in providing it for them. The CSRO has been successful largely in both of these areas through coordinated advocacy efforts. And after all, if nothing else, we've learned that advocacy, I hope today, you learn that it works. So that's a good thing. But it doesn't work without your participation, both individually and through your state societies. So I hope you will go home a little more convinced that your participation can be quite effective. Now I'm gonna just read a small quote I saw recently from a very successful healthcare lobbyist. Quote, policy efforts can be won or lost before legislatures ever convene. The legislators react to issues presented to them from their districts by their constituents, local elected officials, and other opinion leaders, unquote. That's you guys. So uh, I think the message is clear. I, I hope you can take this home, give it some thought. On another note, this is the end of my presidency here at the CSRO. Um, it has been educational, it's been exciting, and essentially a priceless experience uh, and a highlight in my rheumatology career. I would not have missed it for the world. I will now turn the proverbial gavel, not the jewels, yet the gavel, I will turn over to Madeline Feldman as a new president of the CSRO, knowing the CSRO will be in great hands and its advocacy efforts on behalf of our patients will only grow. So I thank you, Madeline, and wish you the best. Uh, last, last things, uh, the CSRO members, please, rheumatologists, anyone still remaining, please stay for our rather brief business meeting. We do have some things that we do need to get settled. Uh, all others, uh, non-members or industry, please wait or go out to the foyer. You can start the celebrations of our 15th year of helping patients and advocacy for patient access to care. Fill out your surveys, for God's sakes. They're in your programs. And don't forget the RNS and APP have a, a dinner series tonight at 7 o'clock. Uh, it provides 1.5 CNE, I think it's called, of credit. Um, and the topic is about systemic lupus erythematosus. Thank you all for coming. So we're going to segue into the annual business meeting, and I guess I have the slides here. Okay. So what you're seeing here is I'm going to try and read quickly, but there's a new membership process that we have devised in the last year. Basically, uh, it's 500 annual dues from our state members. If you wish to be on the governing committees, we ask that you donate 5,000 towards this purpose. Uh, there is a hardship waiver available. Simply just call and talk to us, please. The 2018 funding report uh, adds three new corporate sponsors, uh, GSK, Horizon Gold, and Nova Novartis at the silver level. And GSK is at the diamond level, as you can read. Uh, outside of corporate memberships, the CSRO received several sponsorships to fund advocacy related to projects and activities and key legislator education programs and the speakers program from Pfizer. Member resources, CSRO has several resources we'd like to remind the members about. Free speakers to your state societies, uh, bi-weekly legislative updates and advocacy 101 training webinars. There's sponsored SSAC attendance for two member representatives, so we're, we're going to bring members from your state here, and it's a uh, perk. Grant money is also available to form a new state society, should you not already be incorporated. Oh, there's something about I'm supposed to go to the next slide? Okay, that's the slide I just read. Okay, we also have a new career center. And this is especially for job seekers, fellows particularly, but others who are looking for positions elsewhere around the country. Um, there are uh, board uh, policies, which are uh, member resources, financial policies, procedures covering a variety of areas uh, that we've added to at the behest of the IRS. Uh, and those are part of our 
bylaws now. So that's just to let you know, we're trying to comply as well as possible with IRS requirements. Member resources, uh, and you can read this as well, uh, but this has to do with the State Society Advocacy Grant. Um, we can do training, sponsored advocacy day at the state capitol conferences, specific issue webinar development. All of this we can provide to the state society members. Uh, we're happy to do that. The current board of directors are listed there now. And we have a vote coming up here. And the nominated uh, board members are Michael Schweitz, Gregory Scamese and Costas Batsglu. So uh, I think at this point, can I have a show of hands for all those in favor? And all those opposed and like kind? Well, the vote passes and they will continue on as members of our board. This is, this is a save the date, please, for our fellows conference. Uh, Teresa, I hope you'll make note of this, um, and uh, you can talk to our staff here about it as well. And then next year's SSAC is already set up. It will be at the same location. Any questions from the audience? Did I say that? Yes then that is for ATAP and pardon the neurons. You know, I just, all I can say. So it's a $500 membership for the uh, CSRO and basically if there is a hardship case, a state that's having problems, certainly just let us know. It's not a problem. Sorry for the correction and thank you for pointing out the mistake. Okay, with that, We had, I mentioned the nominations, the three. Uh, I did not ask for new nominations at this time. But certainly that is an open, if you have nominations, we do have two open spaces on our board. If you have nominations, please contact uh, Kevin or any of our W.J. Weiser folks and we can process that. Okay, officially. This meeting is adjourned.